Hello and welcome to another day in paradise and welcome to another edition of the unapologetic Negropian in today's video. So guys I think many of you know what's happening in the Ukraine and to be honest with you guys I hadn't really gone deep into what has been going on in the Ukraine because from my point of view hey it's not our fight. Well, apart from the fact that there is a large West African population mostly students that are living inside the Ukraine, mostly in Kiev. They are going to university and they are there. They are stuck there and they are clearly in a situation where they need to leave. Now, the Nigerian government and the Ghanaian government, because the vast, vast majority of these students are either Ghanaian or Nigerian, uh, have um, organized some sort of um, uh, service from Kiev by bus that will take all these Nigerian and Ghanaian students across the border with Poland and clearly from there they should be safe for transfer back to their country of origin. That, that one's simple, that which is really good. I'm happy to hear that these guys are safe. But guys, there is a story. There is a story that you guys don't even know about. I touched on it in my last video about the orphans, yes. The mixed race orphans. No one's talking about these guys. It's almost as if they don't exist. The Ukrainian government has have never acknowledged them, have never given them any type of support. And also the Russians, of course, are not going to uh, recognize these guys. They're even struggling to get any form of recognition from the people who fathered them. Most of them are fathers. Most of those fathers are of West African origin, okay? The vast majority of which are either Ghanaian or Nigerian. And we have a ton of these children who have been abandoned by their parents, not just the fathers, but the mothers too. The mothers have abandoned them simply because their, their families rejected the children. And in order for them to live a normal life and get themselves a normal man, in the Ukraine, there would be no way that they could live a normal life if they had a, a half black, half white child that they had birthed uh, that everybody knows about. Even those men are going to reject them. So what do these women do? The vast majority of these women dump these children into these foster homes. Yes, they dump them into these foster homes and these foster homes are privately ran okay and they are funded with private money from abroad okay simple charity okay if it wasn't for these charities i don't even know what these kids would do but for some reason they have been there and they've been thriving in the ukraine most of them have gotten academic scholarships abroad in italy and in the united kingdom and some of them even in canada well guys i know about these guys because i sponsored one of them many years ago it was over 10 years ago that i had heard about these mixed race children i knew that there were only a handful of orphanages that would accept mixed race babies you heard me right guys there are only a handful of orphanages that will accept mixed race babies in the ukraine this is part of the reason why i said guys it's not our fight it doesn't matter what happens to them okay it's not your fight because socially over there because of the society over there the stigma that those people have towards people that look like us whatever happens to them happens to them not our problem okay you, you know really I, I i don't even like saying these types of things and the reality is this it is a sovereign nation russia is encroaching on a sovereign nation that isn't right regardless but I'm not going to go and use my platform to go and shout it from the rooftops. Let somebody else do that. So who are these children? Who's taking care of them? Where have they come from? What's going to happen to them now? Well, I'm going to attempt to try and answer these questions. First, I'm going to ask you to please like, subscribe, share, click the bell notification. And please consider supporting the channel on our Patreon. Link in the description. I'm also going to invite you to please follow the Oversight channel. The channel that is there to help you to invest on the African continent, both safely and securely. Link also in the description. Many years ago, I watched a documentary made by a story maker who is a Ukrainian woman who now lives in Canada. She's been actually living in Canada for the last 25 years. Her name is Yulia Ivanova. 
and she is a person who wanted to highlight the plight of these children in the Ukraine, these forgotten children, all but pariahed in their own country because of the colour of their skin. These children have been taken in by a beautiful, amazing woman by the name of Olya Nenya. And this woman has taken these children in when nobody else would take them in. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine that there are orphanages that will turn away a child?